now just like we painted the orange and the red now we'll be painting the black for the underframe and as I paint the steps the steps are a very delicate area not not as delicate as say going around the logos and stuff but they're delicate in the sense that you want to keep a nice tight edge so that the steps look straight and smooth and then again on this we do what we've been doing up above is that we paint all of the straight edges see I'm painting along this row see every surface that's along the bottom of the engine I'm painting straight what this does is that this kind of gives you the bottom part of the engine is kind of blocked off and once it is you then as we did on the other engines you flip the engine which I'll do in a second you flip the engine and in flipping the engine and don't you already kind of see how the underframe is starting to turn black you flip the engine and in flipping the engine you fill in there's a few places along our guidelines that you can kind of see through the underframe that's part of why underframes as I've said have always been a little bit challenging front truck and then the tank kind of the easiest part of the underframe but you still have to stay straight along basically want to fill in all the areas and keep that straight line and then again as I always have been saying put two coats on it because two coats gives it that sheen of a brand new engine especially these Florida East Coast engines if you're drawing these you want to give them that nice shiny look As I was doing before you flip it over and I bet as you're looking at this and if you're drawing along at home you're like whoa we're pretty much done here aren't we and it's like yeah basically and you're kind of starting to say whoa even if it takes lots and lots of practice I've been doing this for years and years but People email me and write to me all the time. How do I get better? How do I practice? And this is some of the basic ways of doing it.